broke the drill bit. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. If you can get it off by swinging it, I'll pay. Welcome back to Double A's Agenda, folks. Today's a special day. Papa's 88th birthday. And that cattleman's had a steak. Had a good time. Now we got a hammer handle to, to work on. A sledge. I imagine it's about a 10 pounder. Picked it up for $5. What do you mean, do? Let it stay there? Can't have it. Gotta pick it up. So, grabbed it. Ready to get this little tink of a handle off this dang dumb thing. And we're gonna get her back to service. So, look forward to that. Alright, here we are in the shop. Who in the world would use a hammer this large with a handle this little? So we're going to, I mean, I love the patina of this thing. I'll probably keep it. Maybe if I can salvage it, we're going to do our best to salvage it. Um, maybe we can put it on something else, but it's, it's just, it's too big. The head's way too big. It's just way too, way too big. So we're going to try. See what we can So I'm going to try to drill along the center line where the step wedge is put in incorrectly. I don't know who did this. I bought this for $5 at a pawn shop. So we're just going to do our best here. Hopefully they didn't glue this in. Um, so I'm going to drill along the edge of it and maybe, maybe, maybe we can salvage this because this is a beautiful handle. There's nothing wrong with the handle. It's just this size of head and this size of handle are not supposed to be together. So I'm going to drill it out. Try to drill it out. All right, let's try to see if I can't pry it out. I'm missing my tool. Where is my tool at? All right, found the tool. We're gonna get this thing out of here, hopefully. Buy American. Chinese EM steel. It's Chinese EM steel. Not worth its weight in gold. Piece of junk. That's why it's ground down into an all almost. It wants to go so bad. I may, I may end up not being able to salvage this handle, which is okay. I mean, it'll be a good piece of firewood. You know what? I'm just gonna do that anyways. I like new handles and making my own, so that's what we're gonna do. Broke the drill bit. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Oh, there it is! Wow, that was a long son of a gun. Not bad. All right, now we've got that out. We can drive the rest of this handle out. Should be no problem at all. That's how easy it is, folks. Let's take a look at the wear. So they obviously put this handle in with varnish on it, which is a no-no, especially in Double O's agenda. We not have it. We will not do it. No varnish. Not allowed here. It was a decent haft. Um, it looks like it started to ride down on the shoulder a little bit, which is for a high impact tool like that. I imagine the handle got broken and they just sawed it off right there. I get it. 
I get it. That's all right. But not overall. No, I'm not upset at this. Um, I'm not gonna be able to salvage the handle and use it again, unfortunately. This is going in the stove. Thanks for your service, buddy. Need to mark the top of the axe and the side of the axe. Or axe. It's not an axe. It's a sledgehammer. Don't listen to me. I'm going to mark a T on here for top. I'm going to draw a line right there. And according to that, I'm also, because you can only do this one way, I'm going to draw a line on the bottom of this handle that correlates with this, because that way I know I'm fitting it on the same side every time. That thing's marked, um, and now we're going to clean it off. We got this handle here. We're going to try to get that guy on there. Um, I might take a wire brush just a little bit later on, get it cleaned up, maybe paint it. So, But we're just going to give this a cool, quick little shave. Get my draw knife turned around backwards. Just removing the slightest amount of wood, slightest amount of material. Now, I'm not real jacked up or fired up in any direction about how much I'm taking off because I know I got plenty of play. That's why I'm drawing backwards. But if you turn it around backwards and put it flat, it's almost like a card scraper with handles. And so if you don't do that because you don't have control, so I get on top of it. And it's not very comfortable with these wing nuts, but you know, you just got to deal with it. All right, turn it on the other side here. Let's see how that fits up. All right, folks, I'm busy outside working on the shed. So, Cannon and I got this finished up. This is Cannon. He's my resident painter uh, and artist. He's gonna take this and turn it into a piece of art. So I'm gonna leave you with him. He's gonna record himself. And then we're gonna put him on the agenda. Welcome to it. All right, guys, I'm gonna burn this handle. I'm gonna get it all the way charred, black, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to try and get it to look like this. And then I'm going to paint it orange after that. Let's get it burnt. <laughs> the handle burnt now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this orange ace hardware spray paint whatever five dollar can I'm gonna cover it let it sit for a few minutes and then I'm gonna wipe it off with a rag with mineral spirits and that paints gonna get down in the grain and the rest is just gonna be that black color so I'm about to coat this whole thing sit for a few minutes. I got my rag soaked in mineral spirits. I'm just going to wipe it off. We'll see how it looks. Woo! She looks pretty good. Oh, she does look good. Might do another coat. So you can do a couple coats if you want to. I might end up doing one or two more just to see if I can get that orange a little brighter. But yeah, it looks pretty good and that's all you do. Pretty easy. All right, we got circle wedge here. We're gonna drive it in. These are always tricky. All right, she she feels seated. Let's have a look at that. 
That's pretty solid. Nice mushrooming. If you can get it off by swinging it, I'll pay you. All right, folks. There she is, Dunn Sledge. Eight pound, custom job by Cannon. Did a great job. It's pretty, it's beautiful. We're gonna get it back to work. It feels good. I'm just tickled to death with it. Appreciate y'all stopping by and hanging out with us. Uh, I guess we'll see you on the next one. Thank you. See you.